Okay, I got this bad boy all outfitted with some gear. I got a riser mount on there. I got a True Glow red or green dot sight right there. I got my pressure pad. It's like a thousand lumen flashlight right there that'll blind you. You want to check that out. That's what the bad guy sees right there. This right here is a review on the Sig Sauer MPX. Now, this is a semi-automatic 177 caliber pellet rifle with a 30 round clip. And there is also an MCX, and the MCX has a longer barrel. So I'm going to be trying to get one of those too. They run off these uh, large 88 gram or 90 gram CO2 cartridges. The interesting thing though is that they can be converted to high pressure air, which makes them more accurate. And uh, then you don't have to buy these 90 gram CO2 cartridges anymore. Rick on Air Gun Web TV. He has a good video on how to convert your Sig Sauer MPX or MCX to HPA, high pressure air. And so the only thing missing is I ordered this off the link that he had on his video. It's about 20 bucks. And this basically adapts your, the same as this end. And then the other end can have like a small paintball gun size high pressure air tank on it, which uh, I'll try to figure all that out and leave a link on those so I'm gonna order one of those but first off I'm gonna order a MCX and that's the one with the longer barrel I'm assuming it's gonna shoot a little harder and be more accurate and uh, it's really hard to find them in 22 they did come out in 22 for a short time or I'm not sure if they're supposed to come out later but uh, I found them around for sale but they're always out of stock so I'm gonna go ahead and order the MCX in 177 caliber and it's at pyramid air right now for 189 dollars free shipping so i'm gonna scrape 189 dollars together and go ahead and uh order that tomorrow morning and then uh after i do this review right here then on the next review i'll have both of those together and we can compare them a little more okay just real quick about converting your sig mpx to hpa high pressure air so these are a couple of videos that i watched and this is uh, Rick at Airgun Web TV. This is uh, Tyler at Air Venturi. And so uh, this guy really shows you everything about the kit. And so I bought just the adapter. Let's just see here. I bought just the adapter for about 20 bucks. But this right here is Pyramid Air. And I shopped all over just now. This is the cheapest place to get your HPA conversion. Really, there's no other place. Air Tanks for Sale has the same thing. And they will match prices, but theirs was like 120 So right here is your kit right here for $99. You can get this uh, Venturi tank that fits already fits the SIG. This is uh, has a regulator that's already set to 1100 PSI. There's a lot of these that have 800 PSI regulators, but you gotta have to get the special 1100 PSI regulator. So really, this is your only choice for converting it to high pressure air. You will be able to unscrew this little regulator here and you know put a fatter tank on or a different size uh, tank. This is just a, a paintball gun tank that's not CO2, but HPA high pressure air, 3000 PSI. So uh, go ahead and order this kit right here from Pyramid Air and you'll be all set. I'm definitely gonna order one right Okay, so here they also have all their SIG models here. So, let me see. It looks like the one that we're reviewing right now is this guy right here for 169 That's what I got it for, a big five. Looks like we got extra clips for $29.99. Might be cool to have one or two of those. What would really be cool is if you could just get the little strips that go in there and uh, just pull those in and out. But you'll see the, the mag loads really easily. So, which one of these am I getting next? Uh, I'm definitely getting the MCX, as you can see there. It's MPX. And the MCX is, has this longer barrel and everything, and that's what I really, really want. They want a little extra for uh, the Dark Earth. I thought I saw this one. One of these for cheap. So I think I would have to go for this one, just because it's a 185 and it looks like it's the same rifle. Whoops. Not so fast, guys. And it looks like it's the same rifle as these uh, $229 ones, so... Gonna check all that out, and once I confirm that, I will probably order this for 185. See, so yeah, this right here is basically the MPX, and it's got a longer barrel. 
the other thing about high pressure air conversion is the pyramid air video said you get 200 shots per fill with co2 and you get about 270 shots with the high pressure air adapter I just want to show you this real quick and then I'll get back to this review here but this is hard air magazine and I always check these guys out before I make a video because they got the information on everything and uh, this is a uh, uh, the HPA conversion that they did they watched the air venturi video just like I did and they went ahead and did the conversion and reported their findings and so they found that uh, just like air venturi you get a little better flatter shot string out of high pressure air they basically had the same findings as Pyramid Air. They said that the muscle velocity went up a little bit with their HPA setup. And it had a very flat shot string. Basically, another thing, reason you might want to use high pressure air on your MPX is if you shoot in cold weather. CO2 is very temperature dependent. And so, HPA is good for shooting these guns in the wintertime, apparently. And of course, you also, if you already have an HPA setup then you're going to eliminate the cost of those CO2s, which are a little expensive, at 10 bucks each for about 200 shots. Right here is actually uh, Air Gun Depot, and they have the same selection. Right here you can kind of see the two MCXs next to each other. That's the one I'm getting, just because it's cheaper. And uh, you see at Air Depot, you can also get just the adapter right there, if you already have a high-pressure air tank for 19.99 but once again your air tank has to have an output of 1100 psi regulator on it so if you don't have a if you have a normal paintball gun tank it's going to be 800 psi output one thing about me is that when i shoot 177 caliber pellets a lot of these guns are rated to shoot at 1200 feet per second that's way too fast you don't want to break the sound barrier or even approach it so i like to shoot at about 900 and something feet per second so a good way to bring your air gun FPS down is to get some heavier pellets. So these are actually 16 grain. It's not really written correctly, but that stands for 16 grain. A normal 177 caliber pellet is about 7 grains. So I'm shooting a 177 caliber pellet that weighs over two times more. And so that usually gets about a 1300 or 1200 FPS air gun down to like 935 or 950. So these actually work really perfect. This is about 799 for like a hundred of these. Here's what these look like up close and right next to them is some H&N heavy pellets too so they're just basically bigger longer pellets. They're also very accurate I find. So what comes in the box? First of all let's look at the box. So this is 177 caliber and it did come in one in 22 caliber which is what I really want but once again, it's really super hard to find those that are actually for sale. It's a CO2 powered. It's a full synthetic stock, but the whole thing's made of metal. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it's got Picatinny rail optics, so you can put all your normal gun accessories on it. It does have front and rear sights. I noticed that uh, they are detachable, so you actually have to put them on. And uh, so, it's, this is a Sig Sauer. That's like the best gun company, arguably. That there is as far as I know they make the best pistols and things they make the mp5 this performance tested up to 15,000 shots so basically this gun you're gonna be able to shoot it 15,000 times with no problem guaranteed so it says it's uh, 1600 feet per second with my heavy, heavy pellets it'll probably shoot like you know five or something but they pack a lot of energy so I'll test out both kinds this is right here is the RPM rapid pellet magazine system 30 rounds in 3.5 seconds I guess that's how fast you can empty that clip and uh, I guess it works really good rapid pellet magazine so right here's a picture of the magazine I guess you load that belt with your pellets they're probably gonna fit mine and uh, whatever pellets you like 177 caliber and uh, slap that in there pop the clip in and you're ready to go looks like there's the adjustable sights all right so this has uh, a few more of the features right here we have a muzzle brake compensator I was hoping maybe that was threaded so I could put a suppressor on there. Uh, flip up adjustable sight, rifled steel barrel, uh, SIG engineered and tested, so you know SIG quality is as good a quality as you're going to get. Uh, side rails, it looks like it has rails on the top and the side. Oh, the metal housing, so the whole receiver and everything is metal, it's very impressive. Got a charging handle just like the real thing. Okay, so... 
super nice box. You, you can almost take the styrofoam out and like make your own case and put it in here. So, wow, this is awesome. Now, keep in mind, when these things first came out, they sold for probably a lot more than this. This right here is so awesome. Looks like we do have a like synth synthetic stock, probably like high strength polymer. But this right here is just oh, it's super heavy. I can hardly hold the thing, but this box. But uh, yeah, this is a full metal and it's just awesome. So I just can't wait to shoot this. I have a feeling it's gonna be really one of my favorite guns. I'm gonna go ahead and put you know, like a flashlight and some other a laser on it like right away. So let me get this out of the package here. I was supposed to display model, so I'm not sure how this stuff usually comes, but like this is a super heavy metal sight for the front. We got a sight for the rear. Wow, this is uh yeah, this is pretty hardcore. So you see right there. You know, I spent $169 for this, and I think it's the best $169 I've spent in a long time. You know, I love my MP40 machine gun, but uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this a little bit more. And I paid about 200 for my MP40, so it's full metal as well, though. But So, yeah, let me get this out and uh, show you how it works. So, that's about the... It's a one-to-one -one scale replica, so that's uh, what it looks like compared to a cat. Okay, so this is the MPX in all its glory. It does come, uh, I found the instruction manual inside there. Looks pretty thick. Got some pictures and all kinds of stuff. So, it's got a warranty card, a couple other things. That's right, here's the stock. Let's see what happens when I press that button. Okay, that's cool. So, the stock comes off right like that. Actually, it makes a pretty good little SBR like that, but... I'm going to put the CO2 cartridge in here, I'm sure, but let me just put that back on. Too bad that doesn't fold, too. So, we got a really quality, like this, this feels like really high quality polymer grip, you know, like not plastic at all. And then uh, everything else around here is just pure metal. Like this is, you can see, it, it's a big old metal thing. And this is all metal right here. All metal, all metal right here. So, this thing's pretty awesome. Made in Japan, I mean, that's always good. This thing comes open somehow, I'm not really sure when and where. This is a really awesome, it's like a really awesome mag release, really gnarly, so. Gets the mag out like that. So, this is actually high strength polymer. Uh, that's a rail right there, Picatinny. So, yeah, I mean, that's grease right there, but this looks just like a regular M4 pretty much. So, it's basically a, a SIG M4. And, yeah, like, my arm's getting tired just holding it up. This is a heavy gun. Oh, yeah, we also got a, a thing for a sling. And uh, I'll find out if I can get this off. Probably not. Looks like the grip has a trap door in it. That's awesome. Good place to keep your uh, key. And uh, I read that this is actually a two-stage trigger, so I'm expecting the trigger to be pretty okay, too. Let's put a couple goodies on here, uh, and then we'll go ahead and go through how you load the CO2 and the magazine and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, riser mount on here because with most guns in general, 
and especially most air guns you need a riser mount on there in most cases I always have a few of these around all right I don't really use these but this is like kind of a holographic true glow I'm not sure what you call these red dot sight red or green so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on here see what we can do with this bad boy I actually turned it off uh, you know two years ago and so when I turned it back on just now the battery was still good so all right that's a little better okay I got this bad boy all outfitted with some gear I got a riser mount on there I got a true glow red or green dot sight right there I got my pressure pad I didn't put the pressure pad on my laser because I just didn't want to tile those off but let's see here I got it's like a thousand lumen flashlight right there that will blind you I'll check that out that's what the bad guy sees right there uh, and then of course I got my laser Okay, this is a super bright green laser that is so bright you can like see the laser beam. So I'll go ahead and uh, sight those two things in tomorrow. And uh, since I am shooting this at kind of short distances, I think this will be good for now. And uh, we'll go ahead and get some 177 calibers in this baby. For right now though, let me show you how to load that CO2. Alright, you always want to make sure your gun's on safe before you do anything, so... Safe is in the that way position, so that's fire right there. Safe is going that way. So once we're on safe, we're gonna go ahead and pop this off. This little button right here. These right here, you know, no matter how you slice it, they're gonna cost you about ten bucks a piece. So this is a pack of two, it cost me about twenty dollars. But if you switch to the high pressure air by getting one of these adapters right here then you'll eliminate that entire cost alright this is a 88 gram or 90 gram CO2 cartridge it's huge and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and screw it in the back right here alright I heard a little bit of air go in there so this is pretty easy it looks like I just slide this right back over and done one and done so uh, we're all ready to rock and roll now except we still have to load the magazine and it's a good thing I put it on safe so to get the magazine out you just hit that mag release right there just like on your real M4 okay here's our mag right here right, open this little trap door and uh, there's the belt so let me just check the instructions real fast to see what exactly I do there alright when I move this up there's a black one up over here and so I'm just gonna pull this all the way out and uh, whoa <laughs> that is a 30 round clip right there okay the instructions are a little confusing but it says that it wants you to have these metal pieces facing down closest to the surface and then you're going to take your pellets and you're going to press them firmly into there so I know this from experience that loading a 30 round mag does take a while no matter what you're shooting alright these are fitting in there pretty tight let me switch to the H and N's right now Okay, so that was actually pretty easy, and, you know, I can't think of a better way to get 30 pellets into a clip than something like this. Alright guys, I'm loading these pellets in here, and <clears throat> when you put the pellet in, right here, it'll be flush with the top, and that's pretty good, but you can actually snap it in there. You actually hear a snap. And now it's uh, snapped in there, and it's not coming out either side. So that's probably what you want to do. Okay, so after you just put these all in real fast, you need to go along and push them all down so they just kind of snap down. 
And once these are all seated in there, then you're ready to load your magazine. So you take this notch right here, and it says that it wants to be on the left, but it's actually just going to go right in this top thing right here. So if you... Uh, oh. So if you have the belt backwards, it's not going to want to go in. It's not going to line up with this notch. So if this is not going in super easy, then you're not doing it right. And uh, I was trying to make this video super late last night. And uh, I just could not think straight. Really tired. And so <laughs> I struggled with this magazine trying to get it in the wrong way for about 30-40 minutes. But uh, apparently this is how it works. So it's sliding in there really nicely. All right, look at that. So this thing is just going to go around. I think it just goes around by itself, and so you don't really have to worry where it's at. So we're just going to put it right there, and then uh, close this. So that's uh, how you load the magazine. Pretty simple. Pop it in there. Still unsafe. So, yeah, this thing uh, is all ready to rock and roll, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this outside and uh, see what it can do. Half inch groups with my first shots, basically, before the gun would start to cool off, the CO2 would start to cool it off, I'd, sh I'd hit the same place every time within a half inch. So, super excited about that. Now, if you're just going to shoot cans from 20, 35 yards away, this thing has a ton of power. Okay, I mean a lot of power. So, it's going to pop cans, no problem. Uh, it's going to send them flying. Thank <laughs> you.